Hi, today I was asked if I could tomorrow talk a little bit about creativity. And I was first thinking, wow, great, what a great idea for a lecture, talking about creativity, that's what I am as an artist every day. But then I sit down and was thinking, talking about creativity for artists is like asking a pregnant woman, how do you grow exactly a child inside you? It's so natural for me, so that I took the evening off and was thinking this video would be a great idea to talk, uh, to think about the creativity. The bad news about this video is that it's most likely to be useless because creativity is so an uh, individual process that I really can't tell every person how to be himself as a person more creative. But the good news is that you get a really good view about the Ile Saint Louis in Paris when I walk around here. And um, I think there are some factors that you really can name. It's uh, some of the things that you can really make happen for you, so it's more likely to that you are, will be creative. I think there are three points uh, four points as you when you took the mystery about uh, creativity with this and the first point is a continuum this means a, t a mix of time and a very special place for your creativity and the second one is about the right tools the third one will be about the right mood because I think this is the most important thing to be in the right mood for being creative. And at last we will talk a little bit about the mystery about, uh, about being creative and most likely uh, that I will tell you how useless this video will be. So first, let's, uh, let us talk about the continuum, the mixture between the right time and the right place for being creative. And at first, the time. First of all, I think it's very important to understand that there is a right time for everything. You can be just creative about some things that are right in the place where you exactly in your life are. And when you have found the things that are important enough for you at this time, you will be more creative. The rest is really easy to find a time window, really a window where you have no pressure of interruption and you have time uh, to spend with yourself. And I think this is most important to learn how to spend the time with yourself, to be in the danger of get bored. Because when you are trying to be creative, the first thing that you will find out is at first you will get bored. You have really have to take a time to calm down, get your mind free, and then the process can start begin. And this time um, must be long enough not to accept the first ideas they will come up with you. So the time to get bored, the time to let your uh, brain work and the time to try and play with many different ideas. Okay, second thing about our continuum for creativity would be space. And the most important thing that you really must know about the right space is not what would be fancy to be creative, but it must be a space where you really feel like a fish in the water. It's your natural surrounding, you feel mostly like at home, you feel inspired, you feel motivated, and it must be a little bit like an oasis for you, out of the normal life, you know? It's like you, some people call this your zen place. The level of uh, interruption is low and you are really free in your mind. You can go forward and backward with your ideas. You can get another perspective. I like this island in Paris here for this because um, it's always something different but it's not disturbing my ideas. So it's most likely that I will produce at a place like this a better uh, ideas than I usually would get at a desk at home. 
started to rain but we will go from the one side of the island just to the another side because over there we have also a lovely view oh art that's nice the next point is a little bit difficult because the right tool for your creativity is so individual like your brain it's really hard work to find the tools that you need to be creative um, it must be something that is working for you and not that you are working for this tool it's like a hammer being a part of your arm there should not be a interruption between the ideas that you have the subject and something that you have to type in or something like this and I think the best tools for creativity is something like a um, dropping basket where you just have to put the ideas the connection and so on you can make later but something that is um, letting you a free space to be to be just playful and this tool has also their ability to when you once make the decision for idea to help you to go just forward with this uh, idea and to work it out The last point is the right mood and I think this is a really important uh, point because um, I think in this point to get in the right mood is more important than to be at the right time at the right place and on this point mood your ego I think is the most likely killer of creativity because creativity is not being about excited about yourself but more about being excited about the subject to feel devotion and love for the subject and when you are, have a big ego it's most likely that it will put you up a, uh, under a big pressure to produce things and to do things and to have a timetable and milestone and so on and um, creativity is about more uh, being tolerant to yourself you know like a, like you would have a weak um, frightened creature inside you and you must do everything that this creature will come out and play with you but still the most important part about being creative is uh, the mood and the right mood for inspiration and I think the best part for this is to be to feel uh, love and devotion for the subject you work on just when you have your small rituals um, the outcome of being creative is not so great like this walk around this island but um, I think when you are feeling this is the right thing for me right now to think about I will get more dreams and visions and with dreams and visions there's also a playful mind that will um, make me a little more creative and so I think the most important thing is the right mood for the inspiration and a free and playful mind so as you can see um, creativity will still remain a mystery and it's a little bit like a Chinese finger trap because the more you pull the more unlikely you get free it's a little bit like falling in love you know you can't force it and um, it's starting to raining now so I have to go uh, home but I think a little bit most likely just one percent this video will help you to be more creative so see you soon bye okay I'm not exactly going home I found this place here right opposite the Ile Saint Louis where you can just buy a bottle of wine sit there how long you want and I think I will spend some time there and watching this video if it's good enough on YouTube I will uh, upload it and have a nice evening.